our king, our fortress, our ruler. We lay aside the weight of the world. We lay aside the weight of the day. Come on, and we offer our sacrifice unto the Lord. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Our king is worthy. Receive our offering. Receive our offering. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus, we say. Come on in, Jesus. Come on, say. Come on in, Jesus. Come on, we welcome you. Come on in, Jesus, yeah. Come on in, Jesus. Come on, we welcome the heavenly host. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in, come on in. You are welcome in. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come tonight, your will be done. And our lives come in. And our hearts come in. And our hearts come in. We're ready, we're ready, ready. We're ready. Father, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Oh, King, we're ready. Ancient of days, we're ready. Lily of the valley, we're ready. Bright and morning star, we're ready. Oh, we're ready. Come on, for whatever you want to do, Father.
share that my God that you give God breath of that we won't look at nobody else naked make them look down and turn it into the minute they knew that they were naked that mean they was ashamed and and, and in that Greek it was pretty there was a shame of sin they did and how the enemy stole their life all the birth of God from them and now they have to live as a mere man when God had did all the work for them now they have to walk out and live as a mere man and go back and God says it's just going to be a while go back you're going to go back to the dust and wake all the way down so they had it as we tell you they had it on easy they had God did everything for them but now now all they had to do was rest and feed on and drink and that 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 God that God transformed he had to do everything and all they had to do was rest and take care of it and make sure it looked nice so you know you build your house just take care of it just make sure it looked for him and 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 uh for them as they were one as he made them amen so back here we talk about being blinded oh sometimes a lot of us we are blinded because of circumstances amen and i'm hoping you get this in your spirit because if you don't get it in your spirit you're going to miss the blindness that the enemy will try at all costs now i want to go somewhere today because you're going to see that what he told eve get over there in genesis before i get to read this and what's going to get back to genesis the second chapter and and let's talk let's look at the part where he was telling eve you're not going to surely die so and then we'll go to luke the fourth chapter he was telling jesus the same thing amen amen, amen. so so watch what it says genesis two three and two yes and the woman said, and the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God yes. has said, ye shall not eat of it, yes. neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. So he brought his thought process in, and you know uh, Lucifer was created to praise God. He was created, but he was created to praise God. And he, he didn't make creation, but he was created to praise God. So he knew a little something about heaven, amen? And so he, he knew some of the stuff that was going on. So he brought that to them. And what he did, he, as they say in Romans, the first chapter, he twisted the truth like a lot of us do. He twisted the truth. So in my text, you see the Bible say over in first, second Corinthians fourth chapter, it said in that second verse, but ye but but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craft. He was so crafty about what he did, and Eve them and Adam and Eve was just in the presence of God, and he was crafty about what he did, amen. Amen. And watch it. And the Bible called him a murderer from the beginning because he really murdered them. From, he, he took away, and you know, you can murder people with your tongue. He took away what God had really blessed them. Amen. In other words, it died out on them. They couldn't even live in that place. And when I told y'all, God evicted them. So he was, he was crafty. No, he said, no how the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation, manifestation of truth. truth. And so I wanted you to see that he twisted the truth on them. Amen. Because he said, you're not going to surely die. And God told them they was going to die. Amen. Now, who are you going to believe? God or? Uh, the enemy. And watch this. So read over in Genesis. Watch what it says in that third chapter. Watch what it says but over God, there. God, do it know. Yes. That in the day ye eat thereof. Yes. Then, shall your, then your eyes shall be open. Yes. Now he was only dealing with the eyes. Your eyes are going to be open to what's getting ready to happen. He really fed them some stuff that he knew that they was going to be enticed by. Watch what it says. Read. And you shall be as God. And you shall be as God's. Read. Knowing good and evil. Knowing good and evil. And watch what it says. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. It, he, she saw that it was pleasant for food. And watch this. Watch and what that it. it was pleasant to the eyes. And watch it. What it was pleasant to? To the eyes. In other words, he got her eyes open to see something that she never saw before. And sometimes the enemy will let us see stuff we never saw, and we think it's good for us, but it's bad for us. Amen. Can I get an amen? That's why it's very important. When you're in that gray area, don't let stuff be pleasant to you. Make sure that you can hear what God is saying by the Spirit. Amen? Because the just shall live by faith. And we ought to make sure we don't let the enemy make stuff look good to us. Especially in ministry, we'll think because somebody's doing something, they got all these folks coming, but we don't know what's behind the scene. Amen. And you got to know God's voice on the matter. If God told you to do something, obey God. Don't worry about nobody else flowing and going and showing and glowing. You just got to obey God and finish your assignment. Amen. And you can't do what everybody else 
God called him to do. So here's the devil tricking. Uh, he's handling this stuff that Caesar because he know if I can get him to believe this, I can, I can take their birthright from them. I can Amen. take everything they own right now because I got to get them to believe what I'm saying. So when the enemy comes, he's crafty. He's got to get you. He got to lure you to believe what he's saying. Most people try to get you to believe their story. Amen. Amen. It's their story that you don't have to believe in it. They have to believe in their own story. Amen. So watch this. Jesus making sure that we believe in what he did on Calvary's cross. Amen. Amen. And Amen. so if I have a testimony, that's my testimony. And you don't have to believe in nothing that God did for me, but it's mine. I'm going to believe in it. And you got to believe in your testimony. You got to believe what God did for you. You got to make sure that you have a testimony that nobody can steal it from you. Amen. Amen. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. So you got to make sure your testimony is sealed. And nobody got to believe nothing that you're saying that God did for you. Amen. You have to believe it. Amen. Can I get an amen? When you amen. believe it, then it comes alive to you. Amen. You can't get nobody to believe something that God's done for you when they wasn't with you when He did it. Amen. And watch this. Uh, they can only they can only say, "Well, that's His testimony," but I don't believe it. Then. Let them go away with their unbelief, and you keep believing God. Because what the enemy does is he blinds the minds of those that don't believe. Amen. And you know people are not going to, uh, you know, I say this all the time. We got, like we from Missouri, we got to go to the show me state. You got to show me first. And God don't have to show you nothing if you're not living by faith. Amen. Now, he'll show it to you, but he wants you to, he, he knows you're not going to grasp it because you're going to have to mind God, get somebody to help you with it. Because you don't know how faith works yet. And I'm going somewhere there because he, he, here she's telling Eve, she's, he's telling Eve, you're not going to surely die. And he did the same thing to Jesus, the second Adam. Amen. As he was tempted. Here's a temptation in the presence of God. This is what I, they in the presence of God. Nobody was around them. No sin, no cussing, no nothing was there. Nothing but the presence of God was Amen. there. All they knew was God. And the enemy came right in the presence of God and stole everything they that God built for them and gave them. Each time we get in the presence of God, the enemy comes to steal what you just received, especially, especially from the Word of God. Amen. The sore, the, 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 when he sowed the seed in the book of Matthew, you'll see that he, the, those that don't have the Word, he steals it from them. And Amen. so he's coming to steal what God has blessed you with spiritually. He don't care about your property. He don't care about your money you got. If he can steal from you spiritually, he got you. If he can take your spiritual rights from you, he got you. And you can't do nothing. Then you'll be depleted, and all you can do is talk about how, how, how good you are. And you, know, and you don't even know God because you, you, your Holy Ghost is gone now. You're living out of the natural. And you're still talking, and you're still, you're still saying what God's saying. But the, there's, a zeal for, there's a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. Amen. And so some of us have a zeal, but we don't have according to the knowledge of God because then when you get the knowledge of God, the Holy Spirit is going to start revealing things according to the knowledge you receive from God. Has to be revealed knowledge. Has to come from heaven. Once God revealed it, then you can discern what God is doing. Then once he revealed it, he gives you revelation. Then he assures it to you. Then you call it. Amen. Then you start praying about it. What you're doing when you're praying about it, you're calling it. You're calling it into existence. There's a revelation. There's a manifestation. And then you got the desire, both of them, that they can come alive to you. Amen. Can I get an amen? And that's how we get an assignment. We stay on earth by watching God speak to us by revelation. And then we call what he said in the spirit realm. Call it out. He told me to preach healing. And I'm preaching healing. I'm calling it out. He said, preach healing, and my people are sick. <laughs> and they are sick in their body. He said, my people. He didn't say the word. He said, my people are sick in their bodies, and they need to be healed. Amen. The first started preaching, I'm telling you, I called it out. So when God gives you something, you call it out. Amen. And it manifests itself. Amen. Amen. Are you seeing what I'm saying? It will manifest itself, and then you'll know that God is in the midst of you, amen? amen? But if you don't call it out, you miss all your blessings. Here is Eve sitting there, and no, and her and Adam should have called it out that we, the promise said not to touch this. Amen. They'd have called it out, they'd have ran post say not to God. Amen? amen. And Lucifer would went right out to God in that snake, and then he let that snake alone. That snake went back to his little dwelling place and rest, and he'd have been gone back to the prince of the air. But they didn't. It, their eyes were open. It looked good to them. Watch this. Everything glitter, not gold. Amen. You can tell when folk got tarnished gold and stuff start turning black. And they'd be the soldier to it. look painted gold, but it start turning black on your neck. Amen. Amen. Like, that's not gold. You still got it on. <laughs> Amen. You never had it dipped in nothing to see if it was real gold. Amen. 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 You know how you go there, you dip that stuff in that stuff. You want to make sure that stuff don't uh, come off of there. 
you, you never take it away to get a check. You just bought it and think you're you blinging. You're not. It's, 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 it's tarnished. And it's not gold. And you're blinging like you got gold, but it's not gold. We, we act like we know God, but it's, God's not nowhere there. Amen. Now we're back to the, you're pretending with gold around your neck and you don't even have gold. Amen? You're pretending to know God and God's not even there. Amen. And watch what it says. Elder Reed, watch what it says. And a tree to be designed and it to was make a tree, one wise. Yes, to make what, what she was designed, the tree to make one wise. And watch this. They were already wise. They were already, uh, mind was brilliant because Adam, God formed and Adam called everything. Amen. So his mind, he didn't need nothing to be, God was with, God was, he was with the wise God already. Why she needed to be made wiser? Amen. Because the wise God was already with her. And why did the enemy play that trick on her? Because he knew if he could have got her just what he, she's doing, I got her now. I'm going to make her eat from this tree and watch with it. Because she wanted to be wiser Amen. when you already had God speaking to you. This is what the body of Christ, when God don't speak to us all the time, we want to get wiser in our own ways. Amen. And we want to show God, I can do it better than you, Lord. And you're wasting your time, I promise you all. Watch what it says, read. She took up the fruit thereof. Yes. And did eat. And she did eat. And gave also unto her husband with her. Yes. And he did eat. Amen. And, and watch this. So, and the eyes of both of them were open. Were open. What were they seeing before the eyes were open? Nothing but the glory of God. Amen. What are you seeing before the enemy make your eyes come open to the natural? And we're born in the natural. All we see is natural stuff. But can your eyes be open to the supernatural now? Let's reverse it. He, they open the eye. He got, he got them to open the eyes to the natural. And God is trying to get our eyes to be open to the supernatural. Amen. The second Adam came to open our eyes to the supernatural. Can I get an amen right there? Amen. And so here we are. We're still walking in a natural body, looking at natural stuff. We can't, we can't perceive when the supernatural is on the scene. And it's so much teaching against the supernatural and the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues and, and laying hands on the sick. It's so much teaching against it that it don't exist no longer until people don't want to be bothered with it. Amen. It's so much teaching against prophesying and the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom and discerning of spirit and the gifts of the Holy Ghost. It's so much teaching going against that the people don't want to bother with no more. All they want to hear is, I need you to bless me. Amen. But hold up, I thought you was already blessed. Why you need me to bless you? Uh-oh. I thought God has already blessed you. Because according to the book of Acts, those folks had money galore. And when Amen. they started spreading their wealth, they started spreading it the right way. They ain't need nobody to come bless them. It was already blessed. Amen. They, had, they, had a, uh, they had a wealth of stuff. And so now we got to check the, the gospel. God ought to be blessing us to have money laid up like dust. Everybody said like dust. Like dust. Ain't nobody got to come and bless me. Now, when God tell you, my God, to lay something down, lay it down. But you don't have to say, I don't have to need you to bless me for you to be blessed. You're already blessed. Amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. And so we got to see that God is supposed to bless all of us. And here, I'm talking about being blind. And so we're blinded by a lot of stuff and we're getting our blessings mixed up. I mean, God have blessings for everybody that's in this building and that are say they're saved and that calling on and in where he said like it's operating on the just and the unjust. In other words, he's blessing the whole world. Amen. It's just how you're going to deal with them according to how they deal with their blessings. Amen. How they live and how they handle their blessings. So watch this read, Elder. Let me get and into this word. And they knew that they were naked. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together. Yes. And made themselves aprons. Yes. Now let's go to Luke because sh he got her on just a simple word. And that's why I tell people, words can blind you. Amen. What people say about other people can make you not even treat them people right. That means you're blinded. Amen. That means you, you have not the agape working for you. When somebody tell you something about somebody and you treat them different, then you've just been blinded. Amen. Because you're trying to treat them the way that person would treat them, and God don't operate like that. Now you're having to respect the person because somebody put something in your ear and now you're blinded and you're doing ja exactly what they're saying instead of doing what the Word of God say. Amen. You got to do what the Word of God say. And God's going to honor you for doing what the Word of God say. Not for what your friend said about somebody or what you think is true. You have to obey the Holy Spirit. I tell you this all the time. When people say stuff about people, you have to hear it from God to see if that stuff is truth or not. If God don't say nothing, you need to keep your mouth closed. Amen. Because once God reveals something to you, your first order of business is to go into intercession. And not to carry that nowhere else but into intercession. And if you carry somewhere else, then God's going to deal with you on it. 
is to intercede for that person so they didn't want to keep destroying their lives. And we don't have that down yet. We'd rather talk about it and laugh. And then when it hits your camp, you want everybody to fall on their face. And I'm not doing it. I'm going to keep interceding like I've been interceding. Oh, pastor, pray for I am praying. I've been praying every day. I come over Amen. every day and pray. I come over every day and intercede. I don't need to just, just bust out to pray for you. Get on your knees yourself and start asking God to do something for you. Amen. Because I'm praying for the body of Christ every day. So I'm not going to just jump. You need prayer. You call me. I'm going to use that phone as a phone of contact. I'm going to pray for you. But I'm not about to lose my mind about it. Because I already prayed for you. I'm already praying for the body. I'm already praying that you catch on. I'm already praying that a revelation come to you. I'm praying that when you get sick, you can talk back to your sickness. Amen. And when you're losing money, you can talk back to what God told you you can have. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Amen. So it's time to grow up. So when you get people together to agree, and some people, if they're number two and they're agreeing with you, they're going to tell everything you said in that, in, that, in that circle. What are we praying for? Oh, my husband. Not, don't, please don't bring that up. Amen. Please don't bring your husband or your wife up while you're pray, you praying for folks. Amen. 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 Because ain't nobody going to be able to get a prayer to change that person. Amen. They got to want to change. Amen. I'm telling you what the gospel says. They got to want to change. Everybody have to change according to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your prayer is not going to make a husband or a wife change. Amen. Amen. They got to want to change. They got to hear from God and then they got to change. As they they got to grow toward him. Because folks still have some of the same ways they've been having since they've been saved. And they ain't planning on changing at all. Amen. And you can't go tell them nothing. And you know how some men are. And you know another man going to tell me nothing. I sure don't want to tell you nothing because when God come and get you, he's going to come to get you. Because I have to change myself. So I don't need to bring my opinions to you. I want you to hear God's voice on it. Amen. Amen. You know how we can get pig-headed. Amen. Don't even another man telling me nothing. I, I, I'm, the, I'm, I'm a man, but you don't know God yet. <laughs> you don't know the scriptures yet. So if you don't, you don't want me to tell you nothing, don't come over here. <laughs> Please don't. Because you, you don't know the scriptures, who's going to tell you something? You don't even know how to pray yet. Amen. All you know is the one verse, Jesus wept. <laughs> Watch this, because folks, they, 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 I'm trying to show you how blindness get people because of how they come out of the world. They're still blinded when they get so nobody can talk to them. Amen. Their heart is already hardened. They, not, God has saved their spirit, but the flesh is still working on them for them not to even receive nothing from nobody. And that has to be broken. It has to be broken by prayer, by the power of God, and God has to make them submit to him before you can tell them anything. That's why I tell these folks, y'all see these good-looking men coming in here, women, and the first thing you do, you glue your eyes on them. You better let God deal with them first. Amen. And men, you better, make, you better make sure God is dealing with them first before you start doing the tango with them. we just been going out to eat, pounds. Okay, you better, you better hear God's voice on that. Amen. Because some of these people, are, they're blinded. Their mind hadn't changed. They don't care what this book say. It's what they think in their mind. Because it's they're blinded to the truth. They don't want the truth to come forth. Y'all going to give me amen? Amen. So blindness can come in many ways. So watch this because he, he, here's the devil. He's good at blinding. It only can blind the mind. Amen. He go after the mind, and the mind has to be renewed every day. If you don't renew it, if you don't get word in it, then the devil can put stuff in there and make you blind. Amen. 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 He'll come quickly to deceive us with everything we're doing. Y'all not saying amen tonight. Amen. The rain, I think the rain have stopped, haven't it? Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, all right. Y'all, y'all, come on, say amen to amen. me. Amen. 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 I'm going to finish this good message up because we got a lot of blind folk walking around. And, and I showed you Matthews how he called them blind guys. Amen. Why would you leave people in the blindness when you know you don't know yourself? So if you don't know something, don't tell nobody nothing. Amen. Just live the life till God set you free. Read, Elder, watch what it says. Let's go to Luke 4th chapter. Watch what it says in Luke. Luke 4. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. What, what he was? Full of the Holy Ghost. Everybody say he was full of the Holy Ghost. He was full of God's presence. Amen. And uh, the same, and now here Adam and Eve is surrounded with God's presence. Here Jesus full of the Holy Ghost, full of power. Full of authority. And we're going out to pray. Watch what it says. Return from joy. And, and he returned from joy. And was led by the and Spirit. What he, was, he was led by the Spirit. What to? Into the wilderness. And the, the Holy Ghost will lead you, into the, it leads you into the wilderness to be dealt with. Amen. Watch what it says. Being 40 days tempted and of the so devil. How many days he was tempted? 40. 40 days. I go to that number four again. Watch this. Read it. Watch what it says. And in those days he didn't eat nothing. And in those days he didn't eat. And when they were ended. Yeah, 
eyes. He after what hunger. Yes, he was hungry after he finished. And the devil said unto him. I probably would have fainted out there in the wilderness and hadn't eaten nothing. You know, I'm like, good Lord. <laughs> he ain't eating nothing. Then it was dark. You have no street lights out there. You don't know what was crawling around. We don't, you don't know when he made his bed, where he laid at. We don't know if anything was around. He just was out there in the power and presence of God, Amen. knowing that he had authority over everything. So can you see a, a servant come out there? Go about your business. Don't come over. This is my dwelling place right here. I'm just trying to make y'all see. He was out there in the wilderness late at night. I mean, it was pitch dark. No lights, no nothing. He just out there by himself. Amen. You know, if we are in the wilderness, we'll be scared like, Lord, Lord, we can't see nothing. Can't you see anything in front of you? Jesus out there by himself just praying the Holy Ghost and waiting on the enemy to come to tempt him. Amen. And dealing with those animals that are in the desert. You have to deal with him. They don't say nothing, but come and tell you he was out there with him. He had to just look, this is my dwelling place today. Y'all got to move on down the road. And everything that got an ear has to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. And watch what it says. Read. And the devil said unto him. And who said unto him? The devil, the devil said unto him. The same devil that was in the, the garden is right now talking to Jesus, the second Adam. Watch what it says. If thou be the Son of God. Now he put if you be. There you go with that, 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 that crap. If you be the Son of God. Command Watch what it says. He, what I want you to do, if you got a son, because he know about commanding stuff. I want you to see that he know that he saw. He know God commanded him to be created. He know God creation was commanded. Amen. So now he's telling Jesus, won't you mimic the Father and, and, and command, command some, command something to come alive to me? So I, so I know if you God son or not. <laughs> so he's using the same concept of command. He's telling them because God formed it, Adam called it. Now he's trying to tell Jesus, since if you got a son, if you really was formed, command these bread to be turned to, turn these stones into bread. Amen. Watch what Jesus is telling. And Jesus answering him saying, yes. it, is, it is written. Here's your answer, Satan. It's written. That man shall not live by bread alone. And he was starving. I bet you, boy, I was like, Lord, devil, you about to know, let me, I, I am hungry. Let me turn these. He, he said, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word of but God. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Read, Elder. And the devil. And the devil. Taking him, him up says, into a high Since mountain. you ain't want to obey that command, since you ain't want to make a miracle happen, since you ain't want me to see if you had power in your mouth, since you, let's, let me take you somewhere else. Let me show you something else. Watch what it says. Showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world. And then he showed him everything that he stole from Adam and Eve. Listen to what he said right in here. A moment of time. In a moment of time, he said, look, I know you know I stole this from him. I can give it to you. And the devil said unto him. And the devil said unto him. All this power will I give thee. Did he say all this authority I will give it to you. And the glory of them. And the glory of it. For that is delivered unto me. Yes. And to whomsoever I will. And I give whomsoever it. I will. I give it. I give it to him. If thou therefore will all, worship me. All I want you to do is worship me. He's going to a whole other tactic now because he was the one that was supposed to be the light barrier. He was Lucifer. He was supposed to come and bow and worship before God. Now he wants somebody to worship him. Amen. Amen. Trick, he'll trick you and have you doing something you have no business doing. And Jesus saw him coming from afar. Amen. In the middle of the night, he saw him. No, my eyes was, he, you know, he looking through him in the dark and said, I see you coming. I'm ready for you. I'm already prayed. I'm in, I'm power's on the inside of me. When you're walking in power, it, you shouldn't let the enemy trick you. Amen. The enemy always come after us when we are relaxing and resting and try to mess with our psyche and put fear there and try to make us not believe what God is saying. Amen. He always trying to get you while you're asleep. Amen. And sometimes he gets some of us while we are up and walking, and we don't know how to deal with the enemy, and, but most of the time he's trying to get us while we're asleep Amen. to put fear on us. Amen? And sometimes he get us when we're on our jobs and make us act up. <laughs> Amen? Amen? So watch what it says. If thou therefore will worship me, yes. all shall be thine. All shall be. He was planning on giving all that to Jesus himself. And watch this. Jesus already had the world in his hand. <laughs> Why would same thing? Uh, 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 Adam and Eve already was wise. Why you need to be made wiser? Why you, how you going to give me something that we created? Amen. Huh, how you going to give me the world now? and we created, me and my father created together. Let's go to Proverbs 8 chapter. We created this together. How you going to give me something that we already created? You just stole, you just stole the government part of the world. You ain't steal the world, the earth of the Lord's and the fullness of the earth. My God, this don't belong to you, Satan. We just, you just got it because you caused sin to come in it. We're going to strip you of that. Go to Proverbs 8 chapter. Watch what it says. 
Because Jesus was trying to say, uh, uh, we one made this world. Where you, where you come from trying to give me something already? How somebody going to give you something that you already made? Amen. Amen. How somebody going to give you something that belonged to you already? Amen. Can I get an amen? Are you going to shout with me on this? Amen. Nobody can't give me nothing that God has already blessed me with something. Amen. My, in other words, you can't give me something that God already gave me. Amen. 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 You can't give me a blessing when I'm already blessed. Amen. I'm talking spiritual stuff now. You know, people give I'm talking about uh, monetary. I'm talking about when spirit thing. you can't give me nothing God already put in me. Jesus is already in me. And everything Jesus had in him is in me all as well. He just got to bring it up as I grow and tell me this is what I'm operating. You're going to operate in these gifts right here. This is what I want you to manifest yourself and then work in it, walk in it, talk in it. And then you can't give that to me. It's given by the Holy Spirit. Are you over there, minister? I'm still flipping pages. Yeah. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. Yes. Before his works of old. Yes. I was set up from everlasting. So, so watch this. Before his works was old, he was set up from everlasting. From the beginning. No, 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 minister, no go, go to the 15th verse. I want you to get this. I want you to get 12 verse. Watch what it says. And, and watch. I wisdom dwell with prudence. So I wisdom dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge and, of witty inventions. With the inventions. Watch what it says. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, pride and arrogance. Yes, and the and evil way, the evil way, and the forward mouth. And the forward mouth. Do I hate? What the devil mouth forward right there in that book? He was trying to give him something that he already had. Watch what it says. Read. Counsel is mine. He said, "Counsel is mine." And sound, wisdom. sound wisdom. I am understanding. Look at you. I am understanding. I have strength. I am strength. Y'all better get this. Watch what it says. By me, kings reign. By me, you reign. And princes decree and justice. And princes decree justice. By me, princes rule. By me, princes rule. And nobles. And nobles. Even all the Stop judges right of the Stop right there. Earth. The Bible called the devil the prince of the air. That's all he can rule is what God gave him to rule. And the Bible is saying in Revelation, I know what Satan's throne is. I know exactly where he's dwelling. And he only got it because he stole it from Adam. Amen. He stole something that was already here. It don't belong to him. He don't have the rights to it. It just happened because he made sin come to the earth. Amen. Watch what it says. Read. I love them that love and me. And watch this. I love them that love me. How many of y'all love the Lord? Come on, say it like me. I love the Lord. Watch what it says. And those that seek me early and shall find those me. those that seek me and pray for me and pray with me and pray that I'm looking, that they look, I'm gonna find, they're going to find me. Amen. Read. Riches and honor watch are with this. me. Riches and honor are with who? Me. With the Father. Yea, durable riches. They didn't say durable. I mean, riches that won't run out. Durable riches. And righteous. Hold up. Why are we complaining that God got all this in heaven and Jesus saying all this is with him? Read, Elder. Watch what it says. My fruit is better than gold. Watch it. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, than fine than gold. Than fine gold. And my revenue. And my revenue. Than choice than silver. Than choice silver. You need to find out what God's revenue is. Amen. He said, my revenue is better than choice silver. And watch what it says. I lead in the way of righteousness. And I lead in the way of righteousness. In the midst of the path of judgment. Yes. That I may, that I may cause those that love me. That I may me. call those that love me. To inherit substance. If you say you love God, you can inherit the substance that God, my God, did through the person of Jesus Christ. That's why I say Jesus already knew you can't give him nothing that he already created. And watch this. He will bring substance to you. And we are heirs with God and join heirs with Christ Jesus. And devil, you can't tell me you're going to bless me when I'm already in kingship. Amen. So I got to walk toward my kingship and make sure that I'm walking like God say walk and be obedient and watch. Everything I need going to come just like that. Amen. I'm not going to let my eyes be blinded by what the enemy has put in the earth and my God and saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, you don't even have this. I don't care. God already got it for me. Amen. If you know he got it for you, you got to make sure you walk toward it. Don't let the enemy blind you. Don't let folks get in your ear and say, no, you know you're getting old. No, no, I'm still yet young. I'm like Caleb now. I'm like Caleb now. You know you're getting, you might not never say, but Caleb had a word for us. Amen. Caleb got over there and said, Joshua, you pass these blessings out. And I know we were supposed to get those blessings way back then. I was 40 years old when God, the man of God, Moses, told us that we can have this. And I am now 85 years old, and I am still as strong as I was back then. I am ready to fight for what God told me I can have. If you're ready to fight, don't let the enemy blind you. All those years, Caleb could have been blinded to what was happening, but he never was blinded. He had it in his spirit. He must have been talking about it. He remembered what God said to Moses. He said, I want this thing. How many of y'all remember what God said to you? Amen. Can you remember what he said to you? You got to say, God, I'm going after it. I'm still strong. I'm still looking good. I'm still walking by faith. I'm going to get what's mine. Amen. 
you got to go get this thing. And Caleb went got it. Amen. At 85 years old. And some of us saying, yet 25 and 35, we can't, we complain already. You got to keep pressing in Amen. until you get where you're going, even though somebody will mess up and blind everything that was blindness right there that day. They Amen. come back to mind. We are like grasshoppers in the sight of these folk. In other words, they blinded those people with fear. Amen. Fear will blind you. Caleb and Joshua said, oh, no, it's no, 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 no. Y'all shut your mouth. Hold up. We can go right now. We are well able. Amen. How many of y'all well able? We are well able to go take it right now. Amen. Get what's yours right now. Why wow, pandemic is going to go for the thing in the spirit and go get it out of the spirit realm. Amen. Amen. Don't look at this, how money is being cut and stuff is happening. And don't look at, look at, look at the spirit world. Amen. It'll bring more blessings than the natural. Watch what it says. Read, Elder. And I will feel their and treasures. I will feel their treasures. The Bible talks about the New Testament. That your treasures, my treasures are in heaven. Watch what it says. Read. The Lord possessed me in the beginning. Here we of go. Now, the, the, now he getting the revelation. Now he's talking. Uh, Solomon's getting this. Now he's jumping over into a revelation. Saying, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of His way. Before His works of old. Before His works of old. Read, Elder. I was set up from everlasting. And he said, I was set up from everlasting. From the beginning. From the beginning. There. Or ever the earth was. And before the earth was. When why, there was no depth. When there was no depth. I listen to this. Forth. I was brought Who do you think he's talking about? Jesus. I was brought forth. Watch what it says. When there was no foundation. When there was no foundation. with water. Devil, how you going to give me something that when I was there before you even was created? How you going to give me something and you wasn't even created yet? I was with him when he was making all this stuff. Amen. I was with him while he was showing all the glory. And you was nowhere to be found, devil. Before the, my, mountains my, were my. before the mountains were settled. Before the hills Be were. Before there was hills. Watch what it says. He, he said, I was brought forth. Yeah. Devil, how are you going to give me something that God created and I watched him create it? And it belonged to us anyway. Watch what it says. Read. While as yet he had not made the earth, uh -huh. nor the fields, nor the, fields nor the highest part of the dust of the, the world. Nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens. When he prepared the heavens. I was there. I was there. How you going to give me something and I was already there? I'm trying to tell you, if we was, if we was born before the foundation of the world, we were, he already did this before the foundation of the world. He put this stuff in us then. How you going to give you something when he already gave it to you before the foundation of the world Amen. was even created? In other words, what he did for Jesus, he did for us. You got to look at this thing a different way. Your eyes have to be open and say, devil, you, you, you don't know. I came to the earth at a certain time. I came, my God, when God brought me here, and now I'm just getting my spiritual authority together, getting my eyes where I can see who God is. Yeah, you had to up somewhere for a while, but when God saved me and set me free, I'm looking at him a better way now, and now I got the authority. He left the keys to us to walk in. Amen? Amen. You got to start talking back to him. And put them in his and put them in his place. Watch what it says. Read. When he set a compass upon the face Hold of up. the deep. When he set a compass upon the face of the when deep. When he established the clouds above. When he established the clouds above. When he strengthened the fountains when he of the deep. Strengthened the fountain, fountains of the deep. When he gave to the sea his when decree. When he gave the sea his decree. He told Job, Where were you, Job, when I told the sea to come thou hither and come no further? And proud wave, you be stayed. Where were you, Job, when I made a thick swattling bands for the clouds? and set it in his orbit and set it in his place. Where were you, Job? My God, he was speaking to Job about, you weren't at my creation. And now you can't trust me. And everything I've made is still functioning, still in existence. And watch this, if it's still in existence, that means God still can bless us because that means the earth's not going nowhere. Amen. Amen. I don't care what greenhouse say. <laughs> it's not going nowhere. Amen. The Bible says heaven and, uh, you know, before, <laughs> heaven and earth are passed away for one jot and one till of my word fell. So the earth not going because the word's not going to let it fail. Amen. Amen. He uphold all things by the word of his power. power. It's not going away because power is upholding it. Amen. And it's going to be hard to get the power from under the earth when God put it there. Amen. Can I get an amen? Read, Elder, watch what it says. When he gave to the sea his when, decree. When he gave to the sea his decree. That the water should not pass his command. That the water should not pass what? His command. His command. My God, when God commands something, it will not go beyond that command. <laughs> God had told you he blessed you and he's called you blessed. I'm telling you that command has to work for you. Amen. That command has to go and work for you. That's why I say, I've received commandments to bless and have blessed, and I cannot reverse what I bless you with. Amen. So what you, what you 
listening to stuff when God said you're already blessed? Why are you letting somebody pause in you when God said, I bless you? Amen. And I have all your blessings in the heavens. Amen. This earthly stuff, it'll pass away. We know we got to keep this stuff going, but God said, I want to bless you spiritually. I Amen. want you to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Read other, watch when what he, he said. When he appointed the foundations of Boy, the earth. Boy, look at this. When he appointed the foundation of the earth. Then I was by him. And I was right there by him. Look what Jesus is telling the audience says as he's given Solomon his revelation. Watch as what he said. One brought up with him. As I was brought up with him. Read. And I was daily his delight. And I was daily his delight. Rejoicing always. Rejoicing before always him. before him. Rejoicing in the habitable parts and of the earth. And rejoice in the habitable parts of the earth. And my delights. And my with delight the with, with the sons of men. Stop right there. I wanted you to see Jesus was already there. Amen. How the devil gonna give him something? And he was that when the creation. How are you going to give me this world? It already belonged to me. Amen. <laughs> How are you going to steal my car <laughs> and give it back to me and make me pay for it? <laughs> How are you going to? I'll give you the car back. It's mine. You stole it. Amen. How are you going to give it to me? Right now, I'm coming to do one thing, devil. You stole it from the first Adam, but the second Adam is a quickening spirit. And I'm coming to get back what you stole from mere men. Amen. And I'm letting you know you're dealing with the supernatural now. I am from the Father, and you can't make me talk out of turn because I know how to talk. And that's when Jesus said, I know all men. He knew all their heart. Amen. And, and watch this. He said when they came to make him a king, he said, I'm already a king. Amen. How are you going to let people make you stuff that you already are? Amen. amen. Can't y'all say amen? amen? Can't make me nothing that God already created me to be. Amen. So I need to walk in it so I, it develop and I know what I'm walking in. I can't go and say I'm a prophet. I don't know how to prophesy. Amen. I got to walk into the development. It comes. And I got to make sure that while I'm prophesying, I don't kill nobody. Amen. At the same time, because the grace age don't call for us to kill each other. Amen. It calls for us to love each other. Amen. Y'all don't remember when the, the, the disciple was telling Jesus, should we call Father from heaven and let it burn your room? He said, I didn't come to kill men's lives. I come to save men's lives. He didn't come to destroy folks. He come to save them. Amen. So if you got a destroying spirit on you, it's not from God. Amen. Because Jesus said, I'm in the grace age. Now I come to save folks and deliver them. In spite of what they're going through, I come to get them set free. I need them in heaven. I want them to know how much I love them. Read, Elder. Watch what it says. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, hearken unto me, children. Yes. For blessed are they that keep my way. So well, hold up. If you keep his way, you're blessed. If you just call on his name, you're blessed. Amen. If you're saved, you're blessed. Amen. If you walk in love, you're blessed. Amen. So how in the world are you going to bless me when I'm walking toward God? Amen. I'm talking about spiritual now. How you gonna, how you going to put something spiritual on me and God already gave it to me Amen. when I need to just develop it into my spiritual life? And the way I'm going to develop it is in the word of God. Amen. You can't tell me I'm not going to. I might not be blessed like you are physically, but spiritually, you can't put nothing on me spiritually. Amen. Amen. You can have more financial blessing than me, but you ain't spiritually. You can't touch me. Amen. Because that belongs to God. Amen. And the, the, I'm trying to show you the devil want to blind you to take what God has blessed you spiritually. Amen. And if you let him steal that, you just all you gonna have is your material stuff. And then we're gonna see the real you. Amen. Amen. The real you gonna come out then. <laughs> when you're dealing with the physical and the natural, the real you gonna show up. Anytime you're dealing with natural, I can tell you right now, I can take Deacon James $10 from him and don't give it back to him. He's going to come after me. <laughs> That's going to be the natural man coming. He ain't going to say, well, keep it, Pastor. You, I know you know I want my money back right now. <laughs> I want it back right now. That physical person is going to cut up. Amen. You, you better make sure you're getting endowed with spiritual, making sure that the love of God is flowing in your heart because the enemy will come steal your natural stuff. Then how are you going to act then? Amen. And use people to do it. Are you going to go after them with a gun? Or are you going to say, Lord, now you know that was my blessing and they stole it. Amen. And they tricked me, Lord. <laughs> and God, I'm bringing this before you, Father. I need my blessings back. Amen. I'm like the woman, the widow woman. Avenge me of my adversary. I know what the word says. I don't care what the judge says. Avenge me of my adversary. You are the righteous judge. Give me that right back because I need that. Amen. Y'all going to say amen? Amen. You better learn how to talk the word of God. He, he formed, Adam called. He formed, Adam called. Give me that man's mind wasn't brilliant. How you let the devil come in there and steal his anointing? 
his presence there was, his, his, his walk with God. Because when we go in that day, he gonna, God went calling after him, Adam, Adam. Now you don't know your name. <laughs> Not because you're sitting, now you don't know your name. Adam. His eyes open now. He got a new wardrobe. <laughs> Everything is new to him. Like, who is that? I, he heard God's voice. He only heard his voice in the cool of the day. Amen. In other words, God was speaking with him every day. He heard his voice. Now, I'm, I'm going to say, we don't know how long that Adam was there with God before he made it. They, they must have been there a long time. Amen. Adam knew God. And that joker went behind a tree and hid. <laughs> so, Adam. <laughs> I'm like, I hear you, but I'm hot. <laughs> I done messed up, Lord. Thank God for Jesus, boy. I'm so glad we have an advocate that, my God, we make a mistake. We can get right back in, and Jesus will talk on our behalf and say, God, I died for them. I shed my blood for them. Adam was hiding like a clown behind you. Like, I see you coming, but I don't want to see you. And we're going to jump him when he passes by. He just let him pass by. You ain't have a standing chance. Adam, Adam, come out there. What are you doing? He say. We're naked. The first thing, how it calls, God talked about the nakedness two times. For, we're naked. He said, who told you you was naked? Say, who told you that? Amen. You say, that, that Adam, Adam, oh, Lord, I can't have that. The woman you gave me. <laughs> Point his finger right at The woman you gave me. <laughs> what you mean, the woman? He went right to Eve. She made me eat of that fruit. So, yeah, yeah, did you eat of the tree? Say, yeah, what the woman you gave me made me do it. Amen. Uh, you know how we point fingers. The husband you gave me made me do that. that no, that's the husband done. You know, it, well, we can point a finger in a minute. Amen. And he pointed his finger at Adam, uh, at Eve, and Eve pointed her finger at the snake. Amen. <laughs> it went down the line. <laughs> they think everything rolled up, rolled up here, it rolled down here. Everything went down here. Amen. And the snake made me, he beguiled me. He told me it was good to eat. And Amen. I ate. And he reprimanded all of them one by one. Amen. He rep not together, he reprimanded them one by one. He gave, them the, he gave them the command of what's going to happen to them. And that's why I said, when we stand for God, I don't care how you walk through here. Well, we just show it love. He's going to split y'all up. He's going to reprimand you one by one. Amen. He's going to sit y'all upside. He gonna, you might be in the back of the line. He might be in the front of the line. Honey, I'm back here. Ain't no honey no longer. <laughs> I'm going to reprimand you by yourself. Amen. Honey, you're going to get yours when you get up here. I'm telling you what God wanted. He's going to get us according to what we do. Amen. You can say, honey, all you want when you're in the line. Honey, God tell him I'm here. Uh-uh, you're going to have to stay back there. You got to come at the, you got to come with whatever part of the line. That's when you got to wait to get there. Amen. Amen. Y'all going to say amen? amen. I'm going to say, honey, there ain't no honey up here. We don't have this up here. We no honey's up here. Amen. Amen. Well, Y'all better get the truth of this thing. God is telling us, don't let the enemy blind us. Know who you are while you're walking on planet Earth. Amen. Know what you stand for. Know who you believe. Know what's in front of you, and you're going to see God blessing you. Amen. Read, Elder. Watch what it Amen. said. Are you still over there in Luke 4? Yeah, 4 and 8. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Yes. Get thee behind me, Satan. Yes. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt yes. thou serve. Yes. Amen. And he brought him to Jerusalem. And he brought him where? To Jerusalem. It's three times he's telling him this. The what he said. And set him on a pinnacle of the temple. Yes. And said unto him. Yes. If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down from hence. Now he's trying to kill him. You got to watch this because in this day and time, this pandemic, the enemy won't everybody to commit suicide. Amen. Because fear has hit. And the devil is telling him, nobody will love you. Just kill yourself. Amen. You know, and watch this. I'm telling you, folks are posting stuff on social media, and folks are getting the back, and, they, and they're going to commit suicide. Amen. Because they didn't want nobody to know what they was going through. And somebody didn't put it out there. And watch this. And I say this all the time. The person that put it out there mm. is the person that God going to deal with. Amen. And Jesus told the pilot that you, you, you're the greatest sin, the person that sent me here has the greatest sin. In other words, you, you threw a brick and hit your hand, God said, I'm going to get you for doing it. Amen. Yeah, they, they, they orchestrated it. Anybody that know criminal stuff know that the person that not, they always somewhere else when something happened, but it always point back to where they at. Amen. And then they get the same charge. Amen. Even though they send some, some you know, some folk in there to do their job, when it, when it get to the rubber, rubber meet the road, they're going to get that person over there. Amen. And they're going to give them the same charge those persons that have. Amen. You will not get away for throwing a brick and hiding your hand. 
are causing somebody else's blood to be upon them, you know, God's going to come get you for doing it. Amen. That's why it's very careful. You got to be very careful about what you say about people because it might destroy their lives with your boldness and arrogance and your fake talk and you don't have to live like you know it don't take you know you better watch what you say to people amen and you better be led by the holy ghost when you do it you don't know what's on their mind sometimes they just need a hug from you amen, amen. you can walk around talking about you your faith ain't working yeah their faith is working but they under so much stress right now they need somebody to just love on them amen, amen. somebody just tell them god is good and you need to preach to them right now. You need to tell them and show them and put your arms around and let them know. I know it's a pandemic, but some folk need somebody to touch them sometimes. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. That we're living in a stressful time, and the devil is trying to put a weight on, on the church, and the church got to rise above this thing. Amen. Amen. Read, Elder, watch what For it says. it is written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. Going back to the night, you and the scriptures on Jesus. He didn't use it. Now he used, Jesus says it's written. Now he's going to say, now I'm going to reverse now. I'm about to use scripture on you now. You know the angel's going to be. <laughs> and in their hands. <laughs> and in their hands, they should bear thee, thee up. At least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. You better learn this. Jesus told me it was written twice. Now he's trying to tell Jesus it's written. And if you jump, they're going to catch you. Mm. Now he's quoting the scripture. Amen. Watch who quoting the scripture in your ear. <laughs> you might fall right there in, in, in your demise kind of trying to use a scripture that wasn't for you to be using right then and there. Amen. So you can't go dig a hole with uh, a broom. Amen. You need a shovel. You'll be all day with a broom trying to dig a hole. You'll be sweeping the rest of your life. You get a shovel, you can dig it fast. Amen. So what I'm saying, you have to use the right tool to get what you, where you're going. You have to use the right scripture to get where you're going. Amen. You use the wrong scripture, you might still be stuck. And we, we'll just quote anything. Use the right scripture to get you there quicker. Amen. That's why it's very important to use the word of God. That's why Jesus was telling him it's written. He gave him the scripture that was written, and it worked for him. Amen. And now the devil's trying to quote a scripture back to him so he can kill himself. Amen. And watch what Jesus tells him. And Jesus answering said unto him, it is said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Did he just get him back? You're trying to quote a scripture to me, but I'm going to quote this scripture back to you. I'm not going to tempt him because I already know him. And you can't give me nothing that's already mine. And you can't feed me when I'm already, I, have, I'm being, I am the bread of heaven. I am the bread of heaven. You can't feed me when I'm the bread. He had him. How are you going to put me on top of the pinnacle? I'm the church. You can't Amen. make me jump off it. I'm the church. I'm the church myself. You can't make me jump off the church. <laughs> then they will tell me, angels going to catch me. Hold up. I was there when they were created. I already know them the command. They'll catch me, but I'm not about to be tempted by you, Satan. Amen. Amen. You go up on this building here and talk about, the Lord's going to catch me. Jump off of it. Mm. I have faith. The Lord's going to catch me. If God ain't tell you to go up there, and if, you don't, if it's not an emergency and you got to jump, then you're in trouble. Amen. <laughs> we might as well get you, get the, get the EMS out here and get you on the way. Amen. You have several bo broken bones. Amen. Amen. Watch this, watch what it says. And when the devil had ended all the temptations, yes. he departed from him for a season. Yes. And Jesus returned in the power of the Stop Spirit. Right. He never lost his power. Amen. Folks get in trial, get in temptation, they lose all their authority. He never lost his power. He, come, he went in with power, he came out with power. What I'm trying to tell you, when that gray area, you go in with power, you come out with power. Don't let him steal your joy. Don't let him steal your peace. Go in there and come out. When you come out, they're like, man, he's still standing. She's still standing. Amen. Paul went, down, Paul went on that ship and he told them, this ship would not make it, but the Lord stood by me and the angel spoke to me that this voyage would be harmed, but we all live. And guess what? The ship wrecked and my, they all got to the bank on planks. Amen. He didn't say, how are they going to get to the bank? But they all got on planks. And got there, and it was freezing cold. They started making a fire, and Paul had just heard God's voice, and a viper, a viper lit into him. Like, good Lord, Lord, you let me live a shipwreck, and then you let me get bit by a snake? Mm. Paul stood up. Well, Paul had some bone. He just stood up, shook him right off in that fire. And the barbarian, people say, this man is a murderer. Went back in his path. How many know he was a murderer? Amen. <laughs> he was definitely, I mean, he was killing the folks. This man, and they had him to the right. But he wasn't that kind of murderer that when God saved him, that was forgiven. That was under the blood. Now, he shook that thing off. He stood there for a while. And then they thought they called him a God. Amen. Because that snake was so poisoned, he was supposed to die within five minutes. Amen. He was supposed to be swollen, and then he was supposed to fall out dead. Paul stood there. 
Then he went over and prayed for the folk, got them healed, and went somewhere else. Look, when the enemy bite into you, you go in with power, you come out with power. Amen. Paul went with power, he came out with power. And he kept getting these temptations, these trials, and he kept, oh, he kept moving, he kept moving. Left for dead, he got up and kept moving. God raised him up. You go in trial, you come out of trial. Go in, let God squeeze you while you're in there. Let him squeeze that, squeeze that, 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 that anointing out of you, it's going to keep you. Once that anointing squeezed out of you and you begin to see God more, your eyes open, you can see who God is. While you're in that trial, while you're in there, you can see who God is, and then you come out of this thing. Amen. Oh, I see what you're doing, God. Don't go in there and tell me, oh, Lord, they don't know. they're not doing you wrong. It's for you to go in there and come out of there just like you went in there with power on you. Because they're touching the anointing. I'm going to close with this. I'm about to close. Lord, have mercy. You know the prophet Abijah, when Jeroboam was set up in authority after they split the kingdom, he sent his wife in to disguise Amen. herself. And the prophet Abijah, uh, uh, Abijah, his his eyes was dim. He could not see no longer. And, but Jeroboam said, go and tell. Before he did that, he put his hand. I got to break this. Story. He put his hand on the man of God. And before he could stretch out, his hands dried up. That's, in sec that's first king over there. If you're going to send the fourth chapter, his, his hands dried up. But God told him not to eat in that city. So I'm walking it down. And when he got down, and he, 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 the other prophet came and told him, you know, y'all know the story. I'm a prophet. And, and the Lord told you to come back and eat in my house. Amen. And the Bible said he lied to him. Amen. In other words, he blinded him with a lie. Amen. And when he blinded him with a lie, he went back there and ate. Then God spoke through the lying prophet and said, when you leave out here, you're going to die. So when folks blind you, my God, you can end up dying for them blind you because you didn't obey your command when God told you to obey. Amen. You don't step out of your authority, step out of your assignment to go eat with somebody that you're not supposed to be eating with. And then he walked out, a lion ate him. The man, the, the lion prophet went, got him, buried him, and talked about how good he was. You know, lion, lion folk don't care if you die. And then uh, uh, the story changed until... Jeroboam said, Jeroboam said, you know, uh, uh, go down there to the prophet of Abijah because now he was in authority, but he did everything wicked while he was in authority. Amen. You got to read the story. God put him in authority. He started doing stuff wicked, making people bow down to stuff that they hadn't been bowing down to. And then he went there, and the old prophet's eyes was dim. They said his eyes were set. He could not see Amen. From, from being old. And then he's talking in the middle. He told me, let's say, you, uh, the, the Lord said, uh, 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 Jeroboam's wife getting ready to come. She's disguising herself, but... He's coming in, she's coming in. When she come in, tell him what thus, thus said the Lord. And as soon as she hit the door, she hit the prophet with his eyes shut. But he can see in the spirit world. Amen. Say, the wife of Jeroboam, why are you disguise yourself? Why are you coming here all disguised? His eyes was, he was blind as a bat, but he can see in the spirit. And what I'm trying to tell you, you got to see in the spirit world. You got to see when folks come in to disguise themselves. You got to see, my God, you got to know what's around you. You got to get, you got to learn to discern. You got to get your discernment up where you are knowing folks are not living what they're supposed to be living. And then you got to make sure you stay in prayer with them. Amen. Just because you know something about somebody don't mean that you have Lord over them. You got to make sure you pray for them. Amen. That's what Jesus did. He prayed for Peter. He prayed for John, the sons of thunder. He kept praying for them. He never lauded them. He just prayed for them. And gave them power to work like him. Saints, the Bible is letting us know God has given us power to work like him. When God does something, he does it well. And watch this. And that man prophesied to them and told them, God getting ready to rip the kingdom out, out from you. Why he was blind. Why he couldn't see. His eyes was dim. He still heard God's voice. I don't care what's wrong with you. Your spirit can always see God. Amen. Your spirit can always hear the voice of God. You have a right. You have access. Jesus made the access where we can hear him and see him in the spirit world. Amen. And God will talk to you while you're sitting there when you can't see nothing at all. Amen. And folks think they're getting all over on you. God will show you stuff. And all you can do is pray for them. And keep praying for them. Don't leave your prayer life because God saw them, Adam called. When you're in prayer, God shows stuff, you call it out, and you make sure it comes to the earth. Not call people sins. I'm talking about call stuff out that God want to bless you with. Amen. I want to make that clear. Don't call folks sin out, which people are doing today anyway, which is not scripture. God ain't tell you to get up and call nobody sin out and expose them. When you have innocent people trying to come to church, then you done messed the whole church up with your exposure and trying to be a great prophet like you done saw something you ain't saw nothing. Because if you've done one sin, 
it's done them all. Amen. So if you take that and start prophesying and calling folks sin out, then you just sin. You just messed up with your own mouth. If God ain't tell you to get that person by himself, and it's going to be hard to get a person by themselves, so why would you call them out in a full audience? Why would you do that to mess up and have everybody mind being blinded on what one person did when God can deal with that person by himself and scare his hair back on his head? Oh, God know how to go get his people. Amen. And then some people he don't bother with. He love them, but they don't want him. You know, they, reject, they don't want him. He don't, he don't bother with them. So God want to show us how to go in and not be blind. God tested Abraham the same way. Abraham, take your only child up there. Can I preach to y'all a minute? Say, take him up there. Take your only son. Abraham didn't even flinch. He got him, told him, people, y'all stay up. Me and my son going up here. We're going up here to worship God. He had word in his mouth. And his son got there and said, Lord, we have no sacrifice. He said, the Lord. His mouth said, the Lord will provide. He had something in his mouth. He knew a little something. God said, go. I have word in my mouth. I'm going to call it out. Watch this. While he was up there on that mountain, boy, Lord, have mercy. He was up there on that mountain, and before he can raise his hand back, a voice spoke out of him and said, Abraham, do your son no harm. Watch this. Do your son no harm. And watch this. What time did the ram get there? And Abraham didn't see him. Amen. He only saw God. His blessing was already there for him. His sacrifice was already there. He only saw God in the matter. When you see God, what you're looking for is going to already be there. Amen. You ain't got to be looking for it. Just keep your eyes on God. It's already going to be there. Amen. The Bible says when he told him to go, his eyes was open to Mount Moriah. He saw Mount Moriah, but he didn't see. He didn't see that lamb now when he got there because he was there struck with eyes and trying to bind and put him on that thing. Boy, put your arm down. He told me to come and sacrifice you. How can you tell your child? And God said, oh, that boy, don't do your son no harm. Don't do him no harm. Look over there, there's a ram over there. In the, he said, look now, look in the natural. There's a ram over there in the thicket. Amen. But he didn't pay that no mind. When did that ram get caught over there? And why they didn't hear the ram? Amen. Why they was tussling? So why they didn't hear that ram over there? The Bible said, I just didn't tussle with him. He just laid there. But when did the ram get there? You know when you hear something coming. You know them things got hoofs on. You hear them talking on, on the earth. And he had his eyes so focused on God, he never looked over there for that ram. Amen. He said, there's a ram over there. Go get him and sacrifice him. And then God made this profound statement. Abraham, because you have obeyed me in blessing, I'm going to bless you. Amen. And multiplying, I'm going to multiply you. I'm trying to tell you, when you obey God, he will multiply and bless you at the same time. You just got to walk toward him. Don't look for, don't be looking for nobody to do Just keep doing what God told you to do. Amen. And whatever you need is going to be sitting right there because your eyes are still on Jesus. He never took his eyes off the father. He was doing exactly what he said. And I could imagine his mind probably was saying, Lord, you want me to take my, my son, my promised child? He said, no, nah, because you did that, I got to bring my promise in. And watch this. And this is what the Pharisees said when they was tempting, they were talking to Jesus. And Jesus told them this, Abraham saw my day. He saw it. He saw what was happening spiritually. And God brought it to the earth later on. Amen. When God show you something, he'll bring it to the earth later on. He said, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And they say, you ain't but you ain't over 50 years old. How Abraham saw your day? He said, before Abraham was, come on, stand to your feet. I am. Amen. He went back to the character over there when God told Moses, I am, that I am. He was right there with him when he told him I was, I am. He said, before, before he was, I am. Went into that deal to that, you can't tell me who I am. I am what I am. Amen. Tell Pharaoh that I am sent you. Yes. Hallelujah. When you're looking at God the right way, when you have your eyes on him, saints, and all your blessings just come from nowhere. And we don't have to work hard for him. I'm telling you, when you're looking at God the right way, everything Amen. that we're looking for, God will bless us with. Amen. He'll bring it right to us. Amen. And the door will favor us. I'm telling you, if you start looking the right way, favor going to come everywhere in every place. Amen. We're working too hard. We don't want to pray no longer. We're just working hard physically, and God wants us to make sure we are cultivating, breaking up the fallow ground that we can grow and see him in a better way. And when you get up on Mount Moriah, when God tell you to do something, 
and he told you, and you don't understand why he told you to do it, just keep going. Because right over there, that's going to be a ram for you to sacrifice. That's going to be a blessing over there for you to bring back to God and give it to him. And then God can pronounce that pr pr profound blessing on you, that in blessing, I'm going to bless you. Multiply. I'm going to multiply you. Amen. I want you to know God said that. He said, I swore by my own name. I mean, I have to look to know the God. There's none beside me because I swore by my own name. I have to do it. Saints, God have to do this for us. And Jesus is praying for us each day to grow. He's not looking at us our mistakes. Don't be weary and well doing for in due season you'll reap if you pray not. Don't worry about you. Make it. Just get up and keep moving. And don't be telling everybody what you just keep moving. Pressing in. Keep pressing in. Don't tell your testimony unless God tell you to tell it. Don't tell them where you come from. Just keep pressing in. And when God give you that, 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 that key to tell it, then you tell it. And then you, and in the meantime, you talk to the enemy about your testimony. You tell them, oh, no, devil. You didn't save me. God saved me. The greater one live within. You have no rights to this body. This body belongs to God. He paid it, the price for it on Calvary's cross. Therefore, sickness, you can't dwell here. Amen. This body's been paid for. I don't have to die. I don't have to leave it one day, but I'm telling you right now, it's not my time yet. I'm not ready to go. I'm going to live and not die. I'm going to declare the works of God. You got to know what to say. I don't care what's on you. Say what God tell you to say. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Tell him, tell him. Oh, he, he going to put it in you. Revelation don't come. Yeah. Then you call it revelation. Amen. Let it manifest itself. Then you walk in it. You keep walking. It. You keep developing and growing. And just be yourself. God want to work on your personality. The Holy Spirit want to take your personality and use it for somebody else. Amen. And yes, we have a lot of growing to do. If nobody have arrived, the only somebody that have arrived was perfect. That's Jesus. He's sitting in heaven right now. We still got to, we still got to go toward Him. We still got to worship Him. Amen. We still got to make sure we connect with Him. Y'all lift your hands. Hallelujah. You can sing some if you want to, Ariel. We just gonna bless the Lord at this moment and thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Lord, I will wait yes. on you. I will wait. Yes. Comforting in this, I will see the goodness of the Lord. See, I will, I will remain comforted in this, I will see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word of God. I will wait yes. On you. I will wait on you, Lord God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For we will trust in you. Thank you, Lord. We will trust in you. Yeah. you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all bless the Lord right there. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. What a great God we serve. Hallelujah. Father, we do bless you now. Thank you for this time of fellowship and the word of God. Just bless this offering, Lord God. And we give you glory. We dispatch angels on assignment for the miracles and the blessings that you have for the body of Christ. And we, God, look to you, the author and the finish of our faith. We look to the hills from which cometh our help. All our help comes from the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Bring the Lord your offering, amen.
Hallelujah. We'll wait on you, Lord God. Yes. Yes. Go on, girl. Sing it. So we will remain comforted in Him. We will see the goodness of the Lord. I will remain comforted in Him. I will see. Hallelujah. Amen. Stand to your feet. Do you have any announcements? No announcements? No announcements. Amen. Let's make our confession. We're going to get out of here. Go to Psalms 121 for us real quick. I will lift up my eyes. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Unto the hills. From which cometh my help. From which cometh my help. My help. My help comes from the Lord. Coming from the Lord. Which made. Which made the heavens and earth. The heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Will not slumber. Behold, behold. He that keepeth Israel. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day. The sun shall not smite thee nor by the day. moon by night. Nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee. The Lord shall preserve thee. The Lord shall preserve thee. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. From all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. The Lord shall preserve thy going and thy out. coming in. And thy coming in. From this time forth. From this time forth. Even. And even. Forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord.